Wetlands. They're among the most biologically diverse and productive natural ecosystems in the world. Invaluable as waterfowl and wildlife habitat, they also store and soak up water to help prevent floods. And for centuries, natural wetlands have acted like nature's kidneys to filter water runoff. More recently, conservation scientists have found ways to capitalize on some of the functions of nature's wetlands by targeting wetlands to locations where they can have the most impact for water quality benefits while simultaneously providing high quality habitat. Sometimes called working wetlands, they're designed for water quality improvement on agricultural lands. These wetlands are being used by farmers to filter nitrate nitrogen out of water that flows from underground tile and surface waters in crop fields. The ability of wetlands to remove nitrate nitrogen, the common form of nitrogen in water, has been well established. Here's how they work. A nitrate removal wetland is formed by damming up the water to create a shallow water area. Water-loving plants, such as cattails and bulrushes, are often planted or seeded. At most sites, they also become established naturally after water is added to the area. These plants and their dead plant litter supply the carbon source and the surface area needed for microbial activity in a natural process called denitrification. They transform nitrate nitrogen into harmless nitrogen gas. In a further water cleansing process, nitrogen and phosphorus are absorbed by soils in the wetland and taken up by the growing wetland plants. Research and monitoring by Iowa State University has shown that wetlands targeted for nitrate removal can remove an average of 30 to 70 percent of the nitrate nitrogen load in tile drainage and runoff water. These shallow wetlands should be large enough and placed strategically to handle the water and nitrogen loads flowing into them. Working wetlands, as well as restored wetlands, are often cost-shared through programs of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Farm Service Agency and Natural Resources Conservation Service. They've included the Conservation Reserve Program, the Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program, and the Wetlands Reserve Program. Designed to function as a natural marsh, with biodiversity benefits and a proven track record in removing nitrates from the water, targeted nitrate removal wetlands are increasingly finding their place in the agricultural landscape. And once they've seen them work and enjoyed all their benefits, landowners want to make them a permanent part of that landscape.